Don't look at me. I'm. Hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome back to the podcast. CCTV episode number. Eleven. 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 Damn, we already did eleven of these. Wow. Today's guest, you you may not know him, uh, but he's here. His name is Asher. Hey. Thanks. Thanks. Do you have a last name? No. No last name. No. Nope. No last name given. Why no last name? What's your middle name? Wouldn't you like to know? What yeah, you... I would. My middle name's Evan. Oh. That's cute. That's a cute name. That's cute. What's your middle name? Richard. James Richard? Yeah. All right, that makes sense. JD. Yeah. Do you have a weird middle name, Alex, because you're Russian? Why do you just assume I have a weird middle name because I'm Russian? It's like, because like, because like your first name is spelled wrong. Listen, we're here to talk to it's you. Like Vitaly you know, why are you talking like to like a YouTuber? Vitaly? Yeah, yeah something like, like that. Like yeah, Dimitri. Like Vitaly, Vitaly, like the YouTuber. Um, <laughs> like the guy had like a sex tape, right? Something like that. Yeah. What? So yeah. we uh we we were supposed to have a guest, um, uh, but they couldn't show up. So today we we have you. Emergency guest. Uh, and an emergency location. This is this actually a fan location? We were able to go on a fan's roof. They let us borrow this for the view. Yeah, the nice backdrop. The Hollywood sign is miles away, but you can see it. Yeah. That's how you know we've made it big. That's right. What a great kid that kid is. Thank you. Thank for you. Letting you. Use your roof, my man. And Joe's here too. Thanks for having me. You're wearing that slick rooster teeth. It kind of got like. Wait, is that on purpose or what happened? I don't know. I, I thought I, it was just weathered like that. Yeah, it might be weathered already. Is. Yeah. A lot of weather. How do you? How do you? Yeah, a lot of how do you wash you weather your clothes, it? dude. I could have weathered it. Did you yeah. purposely weather it? Uh, no, I put it in the washer, in the dryer. Oh. Did you put it on like high speed or something? Like, yeah. You did a number on it yourself then. I always, did I always you put the heavy setting on. No, I put it on normal. Really? <laughs> just that's all it did? Yeah. That doesn't say a whole lot about the Rooster Teeth merchandise, mm. huh? <laughs> how, how's the cow chop gear? The cow chop, cow chop holds up better. Cow chop holds Damn. up better. That's good to know. Do you all wash your hat? Do you put your hat like in the? I spray it. You spread with what? Anti defectant. Anti defectant. <laughs> yeah. Anti defectant. Did you ever fucking defect from like a government reform? What? Yeah, you dude. You spray that shit under yeah. that. Yeah. It's in a no can. No Nazi's gonna touch you. I just spray it. There you every, go. Every couple, every couple days. Well, hey, speak, speaking of merch, um, we're trying, we're trying, we're on a campaign right now to try to get our stuff into Hot Topic. It's just started as a little friendly oh, fan yeah. service, but. We're, we're well on our way. We, we need you guys to go to your local Hot Topic and fill out those those Dilwad sheets where it's like, what's your favorite stuff that you want merch for? And then tweet it to us. I don't know if this is still going to be relevant by the time this goes up, but do just that, do it anyway. But, but let's be real. When's the last time you've been to Hot Topic? I mean, I go in there and I like I you look go, at some of the little doodads that they got, like some of the little gadgets and stuff, and that's well, and you, about it. You, I've been thinking of I go. They have uh, Zelda stuff. When's the last time you bought a new Zelda shirt? Um... Yeah, I, I haven't bought one in a while. When was the last time you went to Hot Topic for a Zelda shirt? Like a week ago. But you didn't buy but you one. Didn't buy Hot it? Topic a week ago? Yeah. But he didn't buy it. He was browsing. So well, you, you window shop at Hot Topic? Ago. Yeah. <laughs> How's that a big deal? Whatever, dude. Do you do you constantly window shop at Hot Topic? No, I mean I just went in one time. One, I mean, just the one time. Maybe one if we time. if we have our gear in there, then, then you know, I would the go. Shop, yeah, then I would go. You can actually buy our stuff. I would, I would mean, you go? I mean, I, mean, I get the I you would, get the merch for free. I know, no, no, I would it. go to check it out, but oh. I probably wouldn't buy it. I don't know it. how that would work. You'd go up to the register and be like, "Yeah, I'm that guy." I work for them. I'm gonna. I just take one. I don't know yeah, if that would work. I don't care. I hate working here. Just steal it. We're glad to be rid of it. Yeah. I'm glad you made it, Asher. I mean, we have. Me too, dude. You've been you've been in a few videos at this point. Yeah, a couple. You were recently featured in the foreign import, the the China edition. That's right, yeah. And yeah. you've been in some BTS stuff. That was kind of forceful, mm -hmm. yeah. though, just because I, I had already saw the documentary. You weren't supposed to, you were, he wasn't slated for it. No, it was, it was originally. pretty, pretty he unexpected. He wasn't slated for this podcast. Yeah, he's either. a good sub in, though. He's yeah. A good sub in. I'll, I'll, be the, I'll be the tag in. No, but people, people on the tweet, because we put out a tweet, like, who do you want to see? They, a lot of, there's a lot of Asher. From LA. A lot of Asher. People put a bunch of people not from LA. But more importantly, they put people inside the office, which is great. I think it was like, 95% Anna, 5% Asher. But All right. I mean, well, Anna should be on one. Yeah. Wow, Joe, thanks for that insightful input. He only just belittled our guest. <laughs> but I mean, I'm happy that you're on oh, this yeah, one. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, dude. Do you have any questions for Asher now that he's <laughs> directly next to I you? I mean, not really. We, I mean, <laughs> I, I see him a lot. He knows everything about I know. Him. I know pretty much everything What's about him. What's the worst quality about Asher? Yeah, what, a, what, what am I terrible? About. Your shoes. My wow. shoes? These are new shoes. No, I mean, 
they're all right. <laughs> they're all right. I heard you were you 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 said on stream that I'm into some sadistic shit. Is that true? You said I'm into those. Sadistic Man, movies. I knew this was gonna come back. How are you gonna, tell, how tell how you gonna reveal that? First. How are you gonna reveal that? What do you mean? Tell, tell you about my stream. You've been streaming recently. right? Yeah, I've been streaming a lot recently. Yeah. Okay, it's been cool. Fun. And so you just been shit talking on there, or what's the deal? <laughs> he leaked it out. <laughs> no. He leaked it out. He said I'm into some. Kinky, I did not shit talk. He said I'm into kinky? some kinky gore fest shit. So That's sometimes we have true, movie though. nights. Yes. Catch up movie nights, and when you show up. I just commented on the fact that you don't like to watch like normal, like good movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always insist on watching very, very fucked up, gory movies. Yeah. That's all I said. Yeah, no, that's, it's that's true. That's yeah. totally true. Yeah. Just I, that, I do. But I mean, did you say that Joe also likes a little bit of that? He likes what? a little I like bit of it that. For the, I like it for the reaction. See, he likes it too. Yeah, that's the same like reason you like it. Reaction. Reaction. Don't, don't, you're still, you're watching him. He likes it for a specific reason. The reaction of what? The, the movie or the people watching it? The people watching. P probably the people watching. Yeah. Like, what was that movie we you watched? You watch fucked up movies to see how other people react to it? Yeah. Do you watch the movie beforehand? No. Oh. What? It's so, more like, well, like, I'm in there too, I guess. Like, I react and then other people react too. So you do like what Jacob too. does and just watch his people instead no, of No, no, yeah. I don't do that. I don't do that. Yeah. I don't do what Jacob right, cause, does. Because Jacob, he'll What do, is good etiquette while watching a movie? <laughs> Jacob watches people. If he's seen the movie, he'll watch people. Yeah, he'll just look at you instead of looking the at the screen. Doesn't that make you uncomfortable? Yeah, very. Yeah, no, it's very weird. <laughs> no, it's like socially inept. But to, to the point of, of Asher, I guess you're kind of throwing... I don't know, does he do it socially outside as well? Outside of the group? Does he do I just it made eyes public? contact with him before I walked out the door. And this time, he didn't break it. This time, he just held it. He held it the whole time. I was putting on my coat. I look over. He's looking. I look away, I look back, he's still looking. Would that be a good thing then? <laughs> that he's I mean, just, just looking at me nonstop? Gawking at No, you. dude, I'm <laughs> talking at you. at me, man. Mind your own business. I'm over here doing my thing. Don't look at me. Well, I'm doing my thing. I'm not looking at you. What if he just yeah, likes the way fair. you're putting your jacket on? Yeah, he just likes your style. Yeah. I'd be okay with it if he was like, I like the way you put your jacket on. <laughs> yeah? I can't Would you be okay with that? What if he didn't like it? I like the way you put looking. that jacket on. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> No, actually, you're, you're a great guy. I'll, I'll, I'll say that right now on this podcast. Thanks, you're, Alex. You're awesome. What do you think of this view? I think it's pretty, pretty sick. The, the, you can hardly see the Hollywood sign, but you lived. We, so we got you from Colorado, right? Yeah. And you were like native Coloradian. I moved to Colorado when I was three. Okay. So basically, where are you? Where are you actually from? Of uh, Virginia. Really? Yeah, really? Born in Virginia. Born in Virginia. Yeah. I only have one Colorado. memory of. I only have one memory of Virginia, which is uh, spilling chocolate milk on my own face as a baby. That's all I know of Virginia, and the rest of my life has been in Colorado, so. Did you have like a weird thing with that, where like you you can't handle stuff on your face? Or is that me? Like you? <laughs> no. Shit. No, it's like my very first memory. And you moved to Colorado, and now you're here in Los Angeles, California. Yeah, lived in Soaking Colorado for like 19 sun. years, yeah. I was asking on the way over here, what, what's your favorite part? You mentioned the diner? Oh, just like how there's so many like movie sets that you'll just run into as you're driving around. Like, cause we eat at a diner and it turns out like after the fifth time eating there that it's actually really famous and it's the only one in the world and it's like a movie set For and all what? this stuff. Just yeah, what movie? Diner? Yeah, like it's in Austin Powers. I mean, it's Bob's Big Boy. You know Austin Powers? Like the no. guy with the big burger you hold I never watch that. We gonna eat there sometimes. I wanna go there though. You've been talking a lot of good things about it. It's great. <laughs> Wait, you never seen this is how the Powers? recommendations no. start. Okay. You've never no. seen Austin Powers? No. Dude, Trevor never seen Austin Powers. We watched it last night because I had Did to have him watch it. Yeah. But you watched it last night? Or two nights ago, but yeah. Oh, really? Drag me, baby. Yeah, that's interesting. How, do, how does that movie hold up? Because I feel like that would be pretty cringy. It's still pretty point. funny. Is it? Yeah. It's... Shut yeah. up. It's great. I mean, it was filled Trevor's with like his head. <laughs> fat jokes and like, I'm going to shag it. you and like shit like that, which like probably wouldn't fly today, but like it does hold Man. up. I mean, there's movies today are way dirtier than Austin Powers. Yeah, but they're really? not as like Austin they're not as, they're like not as over the line, you know. Like was Austin Powers over the line? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Is, like, Have you not it seen is. it? No, I've seen it. Oh, okay. I've seen it. It was just ages ago. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I said, like uh, like Tropic Thunder was a movie that I was like that probably wouldn't fly today, but I, I really like that movie. I'll still watch that movie. I'll go back to it and mm -hmm. you know watch it. Every you don't once think it would fly today? Yeah, why wouldn't it? Because the blackface. Well, that uh, there's. Subtle gay jokes about the other the other black dude, the one about the energy drinks. They make fun of uh, mentally handicapped people. Um, fucking what's Jack Black is like a, a drug addict or something. Like each one Shit. is fucked up, and they make fun of each one. And then there's what is it? Uh, Tom Cruise. He's the producer guy. 
Yeah. Probably call someone the F word at some point in there. I don't really know. Matthew McConaughey curses a lot too. It's just like, it's out there. Yeah. I still like it. It'd probably I mean, still fly today. I mean, that movie came out in like 2008, right? That wasn't that long ago. Yeah. This goes back to your like weird movie fetish thing, right? That's not a weird movie fetish thing. You said you weird like movie it. fetish thing is the movie Feed, where this guy gets off. I want to watch that. Movie. I haven't yeah, watched see? that yet. He wants to. What was the last that? movie we I watched? Watch the that. one like about the dude with the really fucked up face and like that blood orgy thing. Oh, remember the guy, remember the guy that ate I don't the even eye? Know what yeah, that was. he like ate the eye or <laughs> yeah. like bit his eye out. <laughs> or no, the tongue. We watched one. Right. We watched one at the uh, the hub office. I think it was just me, Joe, and Aaron at the time. We Everyone else the one left. About uh, this fucked up Japanese version of YouTube where they upload videos of them killing other people and it's like the most views go to the person who gets like the better kill and so like everybody was trying to kill other people and film it at the same time. There was time like two people so that were like competing it. like. Yeah this guy like was was he saw somebody else like it was like I guess the equivalent of Ray William Johnson at the time or something like he would watch his videos and be like oh I want to kill like this guy so he tried to kill like him and he fucked up the first one. He was like in the back of a taxi. So like he was trying to kill the taxi driver at the same time as film it. But he somehow got the shot and it was really blurry. So he uploaded but it But he got like, like they got like 30 billion yeah, views. They started or getting views. Billion. Yeah, it was so like, he like the getting num- there was actual numbers it. like on the bottom. And weren't they like really high up? It was a really bad like spoofed YouTube platform that that but they were getting millions of views and so like they were they started this is to a see movie? each other. Yeah, they started to see each other's like videos mm. and then eventually they met and they tried to like you know, kill one another and stuff. It was it was pretty fucked up, but it was it was enjoyable. Uh, are we gonna have another fucked up movie night soon? Apparently, you don't like them. So I, I mean, never said I that. Know. I just pointed out the fact that that's what always with you. It's watch. an experience all the time. That's all. That's all you can experience. It's been dormant for centuries, but now its time has come again. Demonoid, messenger of death, a warning for those who believe. But you, you watch horror stuff, right? Because yeah. like me and you have been having this conversation at the office, like, yo, what's what's the latest? Oh yeah, horror, our favorite horror movies. Horror, yeah. Like, been and you really recommended Baba Duke. Yeah, I love Baba Duke. Yo, you don't like that movie? I'm probably in the minority for that, but I didn't like Baba Duke at all. I'm like halfway. Yeah, with, yeah I didn't like Baba. Halfway Duke. through with it. I think yeah. I think when you get you get you get about three quarters through the Baba Duke, and uh, there's a moment where like the scary monster is supposed to be coming out, and they literally cut and paste the sound of the fucking. Uh, Dragon Zord from uh, Power Rangers as he comes <laughs> out. It's like It's the same really? exact sound at, at that moment. It killed the movie for me I mean it was already getting it was going downhill, but when I hear a Power Rangers sound effect for it I know it's low budget, but <laughs> come on. It's a Power Rangers sound effect. What the I can't fuck? believe you recognize the Power Rangers sound effect yeah. Like that sound effect is from Power Rangers. I was just like, what the fuck is that? I replayed it. I was like, that's that's gotta be the fucking Megazord for Tommy. It's it's there. Why is it there? The Megazord for Did you watch that much Power Rangers that you know that sound that distinctly yeah. in your brain? You don't know that? You don't like I, I mean, hardly I, ever watched Power I, Rangers. I loved as a Power kid. Rangers when I was a little man. I had the little flute and I was like dun, 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 dun. Nah, Power Rangers freaked me out as a kid. That's weird. I don't like uh, I don't like uh, characters that have like tight skin tight like Uniforms it weirded me out as a kid. So any superhero really? ever? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Which as a kid, I was more. Because Comic Con just happened. Yeah. Would, yeah, it did. Watch any, yeah, it did. I didn't watch anything. <laughs> I didn't watch anything either. <laughs> no. You didn't watch anything. No, either. I didn't really. Care I saw the too stuff much. that came out of it, like a lot of the Hall H stuff, all the Marvel stuff, the DC stuff, like a bunch of stuff like that. I mean, I didn't really see anything else. Nothing yeah. major. I mean, the DC stuff's probably the the most major. Is right? it the Justice League? Kind of like that was already full like full trailer though. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do, do they actually have a trailer yeah. now? Yeah, like a really? full fledged, you know, Aquaman, Flash, Batman, Batman, obviously. Green Lantern. It's DC's Avengers. Green Lantern's not in there. Green Lantern. Ryan, Ryan Reynolds is in it. <laughs> they already <laughs> fucked that up. Yeah, they kind of like. <laughs> I'm not sure how that would work at this. Day. Well, they probably. He's like in Marvel better. now, so he can't. There's people that cross know. over. Really? Well, it, who's For Daredevil both? though? Who? Daredevil? What do you what do you mean? Is Who he in Daredevil? Justice League? Who Wasn't played it, uh, Daredevil? Uh, ben Affleck. Right. So yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the now, the, the one that's no, no, now. No, 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 I'm not talking about the now. Because oh yeah, that, that was like a little It's but, like a Netflix series, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But like, a, a bunch of people. I'm just saying like though. a superhero going into another superhero role, that's kinda like the same shit. Right? He was Oh yeah. Daredevil Chris Evans did both Marvel and DC. There you go. Like he did, did he? Yeah, he did he's 
Captain America, obviously, but he did a bunch of DC stuff. Like, he was in, uh, fuck, are, they're, they're mostly comic book stuff, right? Scott Pilgrim yeah. technically count as DC, yeah. I think. Wait, they, what? Was Scott Pilgrim like an actual like graphic novel? I think, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. fucking shaking his head, yeah. So right. he did he did a couple, I think, of uh, DC stuff originally. Yeah, I think they hop over as they see fit. Yeah. So you just you're not a fan of superheroes? Is I've gotten sick of superhero movies. Yeah. You're sick of superhero movies. Yeah, the last superhero movie I saw was Deadpool. Okay. And I was like, and yeah, that I'm was sick pretty of it. good. That you're was sick. Good, oh yeah, you're sick of that. That was the I one. I wanted to see that because I was like, oh, that one. No, that's not the one that broke it. That was when I was like, all right, this will be the last one I watch because it seems pretty funny and unique. And on a high note. Yeah. Pretty much, and I, I don't care about any like the DC heroes or anything, so I'm just uh. There were some pretty good ones. Out there. I mean, Doctor Ant Strange was good. pretty good. That did not. Oh come yeah, after. Doctor Strange was the last one I saw. That did actually. not come after. I don't think. I don't think that was before. Was it before? Yeah, Ant Man came out like in 2015. A lot of people skip uh, Ant Man though. Yeah. For whatever reason. You watch any Doctor Who? I've never seen Doctor Who. <laughs> Is there a new Doctor Who? Yeah, it's a woman. Have they increased their it's budget? A woman. This time. Doctor Who? Have they increased their budget? Do they what? have a low budget? Yeah, they fucking have a little budget. What do you mean they're Doctor show? Who? It's like fucking one of the biggest. Like... 2005, it's much better now. It's much better now? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's one of the biggest shows in the world. Of course, they're gonna have a high budget. No, no, that's fucking bullshit though. Like, there's there's shows that go on forever on like UPN, like fucking Supernatural, and they still use the corny ass effects that they used in season one. When you go 12 seasons and you don't put more money into your fucking show, like that shit's stupid. And it makes me upset. I think it's the whole point is like they want to stick to the roots, right? I don't give a fuck. Where it's like that was successful I don't back give a in two thousand five. Let's let's keep on going down with the same animation studio, with the same sort of like cinematography directors, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't hold up in today's standards though, it's gross. Much like our YouTube channels. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It just doesn't hold up. I mean have you seen the crazy stuff lately? We can't do any of it. We're fucking doing a podcast in 2017. There's yeah. kids out there. Uh, what, 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 what's the latest sensation? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to keep. I up don't here. know. Let me, let me show. I thought it was that hot dog meme. But the hot dog. Yeah, the hot dog. I'm, I'm trying to keep up, man. I'm. I'm, I'm That's not. You have it. It's gone. They're over yeah, now. Yeah, yeah this stuff. That was in his pocket. How is this? That's not the latest. Do you always just have a fidget spinner on hand? Yeah, dude. I already told you about this, man. I told you. Emergency fidget spinner. Emergency fidget spinner for all your fidget needs. I'm out here, you know, when, whenever there's like a meme that needs to be well said, like I'm out here busting it out. You can't that do well that said. on the podcast though. Like that this, literally this works, breaks rule number one. This works yeah. great with uh, like if you ever try to pick up a girl and you bust one of these out and you're already a sensation. Especially when it's, it's, branded, sensation. it's branded for the company you work like for I'm, too. So. When I'm at Starbucks or something and I'll just whip this bad boy out. Do you know how many girls are like, what's going on? You get a free, yeah. oh, this is a, uh, you get a this, free cup of joe from the barista there. This is a, the, this is a fidget apparatus. That's your opening line? Yeah. <laughs> so like the bar- barista, you know? Oh, and she's so like, oh, like, okay. And then just like, like walks hey, away. She's like, I take your order. I'm like, have you seen one of these before? And I Ooh. hold up the line, discussing it. <laughs> yeah, man, it's great. Nice. I'm actually at a point now where some of the people from Postmates or like recognize me. So that's. <laughs> really? Because like, of how, 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 how often you use it. There's so many. Like in Colorado, there was like three people that would order Postmates, right? Right. And out here, there's like. I mean, everyone. Well, it's 24 7. There's like yeah. always, you can get food whenever, 4 a.m., 2 p.m., right? So, like, there's always different people. Yeah. But yesterday, I ordered something. I forget what it was. My phone just went off. And uh, this lady shows up and she's like, oh, yeah, it's you. <laughs> Did you remember her? No. Really? Yeah, that was a sad part. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a delivery woman. <laughs> shit. Damn. Right. So yeah, I've seen some crazy shit. I mean, that's, I guess, one of them, right? Yeah. Postmates. There was, like, a drug bust down the street for me. It's like, people in SWAT gear and stuff. Really? Damn. Yeah. What's the craziest yeah, thing you've seen out Yeah, there? I was gonna say. The craziest thing yeah, I've seen Yeah, number here? one. Well, besides just, like, the SWAT uniforms and stuff, um, I don't think I've seen anything crazy. Like, the other day, though, I saw uh, my street, like, half of it was blocked off by WB because they were shooting in, like, a plaza. Mm-hmm. So they had, like, half of the road one cones, so I, I had to drive. There was only one lane that was open. That was the first time I've seen that happen. Did you go down and check it out? Be an extra. Do they film in a movie? No, be an extra? I was no. driving. It can, just, isn't that how you do it? You just walk up to be an extra? No, no, I think, no. You actually no. get paid. No. You could probably work were your you, way were in. Were you trolling and then like you sort of like? No, I thought you could do that. Yeah, he was trolling and he was like, you know, that might not be wrong. Because every fucking movie would just have people that are like this. Yeah, it's like waving <laughs> and like just walk up on set. Yeah. I'm holding yeah. 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 signs. You know, I'm really feeling like I want to be in the new Superman today. I'm just gonna it, go down the street. I heard extras make a lot of money. Yeah, I used to How know much? a kid who like uh, a couple of grand. 
Really? I, I used to know a guy who, uh, who was an extra, who, whose whole career was like being an extra in like, uh, like kit, like movies that take place in high schools. He was like a kid just walking around the background with a backpack, or backpack, and uh, he got paid <laughs> like three grand for every shoot for like just like Damn. five hours of shooting. He did an awesome job. Yeah. They do an awesome job. No, that, so that be would an awesome be an job. awesome job. Don't memorize any job, memorize yeah. any lines. Just like, all right, walk from there to there. I could do that. Yeah. You, you just you have to it. redo it though, because it's multiple takes that they do. Yeah. The so you just keep walking, do your thing, walk away. It's not too not too bad. The the job itself. Yeah, yeah. it'd be easy. He told me that when you're in the background, you have to like be pretending to have conversations with people because you can't actually be speaking because there can't be any noise. They just say the phrase uh, uh, like purple watermelon or something over and over again. Yeah, because it looks like you're speaking, so they just say it over and over again with like different cadences. What were you doing? Was that mm-hmm. that was actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah just like that. Wow. That's what they have to do in the background. I don't know if you should be cheesing though. What if there's a really serious scene going on and you're fucking cheesing? I don't know if I could. I don't know if I couldn't be in a movie like that. I'd have to be in a comedy movie. Well, that's like maybe <laughs> half your roles then. No, I feel that's appropriate. I mean, not everyone is having like conversations with the mood. So if it's like a breakup scene, he can't just be in the background corpsing. Well, the hold whole on, fucking hold time. on. Tom Cruise, you know, love story breakup scene. Yeah. Joe in the background. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in right. that. Like, right. I know you. Don't. I'd be like, so yeah, you're just in the background. Yeah, they're like they're over up. there. I'm, I'm having a good time. Like, yeah. Angelina Jolie, she's crying. <laughs> to break up. And I look over there, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're pointing, pointing at them. You're pointing it out. They're breaking up you, right you now in your life. What, what are you doing like this, though? You're like, oh. Like. I point in real life, I actually point. You just point like, to people. Yeah, I'm like, at, yeah, people I don't care. I just Makes a point and laugh, yeah. Yeah. Like, look crazy, at that. Dude. Like, look at look at them. Like, they're, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at them. <laughs> yeah, you like, can totally yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I guess yeah. I saw I saw Kevin Hart at the strip club. That's probably the craziest thing, right? At the strip? He was yeah. at a strip club? Wasn't there a thing with him, like, having herpes or something? I think there was like some cheating allegations. But let's get back to the craziest Wasn't thing that, that you guys. Usher? Usher. Oh yeah, Usher. Usher's what? positive, yeah. It was Usher. Oh, yeah. Usher. Kevin Hart cheated. That's what it was. Oh. There was a lot of scandals that came out. Yeah, I mean Hollywood, man. You you live that life. You know what it is. I was actually just telling them that I matched with uh, somebody on, on Tinder recently that's on like the Kardashians show. Which that was kind of weird. How do you know they're on the Kardashians show? <laughs> They like, probably put it in their bio. Yeah, they yeah. like they're like <laughs> their account is, and stuff is like linked. Like people can link their accounts. So like in their bio they put it like, oh you probably see me on TV and stuff. And like I went over. Ugh. And yeah, no, it was them. I, I didn't know how I felt about it. At first I thought it was a joke, but then I'm like, no, this is actually like a legit thing. Why do they see, promote that? Is it is no, they promote I, I, it to like get more matches or like What's or is it just, a, is just like a verify. cautionary thing? Well, because there's so many bots and stuff, like oh. so many spam bots that are just like, come check out my cam site or give me $5 and see what happens is like a yeah. big one. <laughs> what celebrity was it? Like I just said, it was just some some extra. Well, not extra, What's actually. Extra? No, she she was actually on the show. They have like a secondary show where they have like, they do, they have like a clothing shop, I guess is their second show. And she's like one of the girls that's on it. I didn't really want to like out too much because I already felt like weird about it. Cause I was like already getting into like the dark territory of, of Hollywood that I didn't really want to like ever picture myself being in, which is just like matching with like a celebrity on already a, a Kardashian show. Like that's probably the the bottom of like I guess my low point that I've set for myself. They probably do a lot of cocaine. Probably. Yes, I have seen a lot of cocaine being done in Hollywood. Uh, yeah. Do you see the nail? Stuff. They have usually have the, the pinky nail. Coke nail. I don't think I'll. I don't think I'll. I think that's like over. Assumed, and I think that's. Like I know the other years. day it's we a had, myth. It's we a had cocaine a delivery. Myth. No, I don't think it's a myth. But like, you're if you're walking around with a fucking cocaine no. nail, like people are gonna know you're, you have a cocaine no. nail. You know? Yeah, what yeah. I mean? yeah. We ordered food the other day. Also, and the guy you've had seen it. the Amazon show where I have the little capsules. Yeah. And just buy one of those. They're like ten dollars. Stop having a fucking grotesque nail and just be a little classy. You know, <laughs> be a little classy. Classy yeah. with your cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. What's your opening line on Tinder? When you when you. Message a girl. What's my opening line? Yeah, what's the thing you say when you first message her? <laughs> Dude, I actually, I, Steven Subtick, when he was in the podcast, we literally had this exact conversation. Oh, did you? Oh, I don't yeah. watch the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't watch it either. You've been talking about how bad you want to be on this fucking podcast. You don't even watch any of the Have podcasts. Have I? Everyone's been wanting you to be on it. Yeah? Everybody. Yeah, every single one. <laughs> yeah, what's your opening line? We need to know more about you. That's what I've been trying to work on. Oh. I've been trying to work on my opening I'm trying to take advice. I, I, I think Alex would... You do pretty well on, on Tinder, right? You talk about it a lot. No, I don't. No? <laughs> no, dude, I, I don't like I don't like dating here, man. It's, yeah. It's not it's not as much fun. 
It's not as much fun when everyone knows somebody. You know, in like Colorado, I could be like, hey, you know, I, I know uh, Jeff Ramsey from Rooster Teeth, and I'm telling you, all the girls, they go wild for that. <laughs> but out here, it's like, I don't fucking care. Who are you? I had some girl that like shit talked me when she heard that I was on YouTube. Was, but she's the one that asked me too. She's like, <laughs> Oh, what do you do? Blah blah blah. She's all drunk, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, just like I'm, I do some YouTube stuff." And she's like, "Oh, oh." <laughs> she did that. <laughs> the glasses didn't fall, but you do YouTube stuff. She was like, "I'm like here, and you're like here." Ew. Really? She, she said do? that? I don't know. She was like, she was like a TV uh, assistant executive or some shit. Wow. Something. Damn, man. I don't, I don't know, dude. No one watches care. TV anymore. Yeah. That's what I said. In my head. <laughs> In real life, you're like. Yeah. I guess that's no. my that's just my point, I guess. Yeah. No, not as much not as much fun out here. Yeah, I can see that. I agree. But like, yeah, what's your opening line? <laughs> I've been I've been working on it a lot. I mean, I took advice from Joe. He said that the good opening line is like to compliment them. Like just saying like, Oh, you look cute. You said that that yeah. sticks with you a lot of time. So I tried that and the first girl I tried that with, she replied with a gif of someone giving a thumbs up. Interesting. I was like, Okay. You say, Oh, you look cute? Well, no, it, it was just like a, it was like, hey, I think you're cute. That was pretty much it. And just like, throw it out there. What are you looking for in a, for in a woman? Well, you know, I'm, I'm sick of playing the field. Um, I, I don't need to date everything Take that moves. Into the camera. I'm sick of playing the field, and I don't need to date the moves. I like how... I like how this is turning into like a dating advice podcast, actually. I, I like the direction. <laughs> is it of dating this. advice? Well, yeah, because now we're starting to get into it. We've got a little bit of the pop culture stuff out of the way, like Comic Con. Nothing happened there, obviously. Let's just yeah. get that out of the way right now. Nothing. Uh, what'd you do in your life, blah, blah, blah. And let's, let's get into the hardcore dating advice, right? <laughs> Joe's telling you, you tell a girl you look cute. Yeah. Hit her up. He was giving me some Tinder advice. She gives you a <laughs> thumbs up. James, do you have any dating advice for, for all the young viewers out there that just... Yeah. I mean, I just whip out my fat stacks. It's that easy for me. I don't really have to go much further than that. Show my bank you, statement. You take pictures? <laughs> it's kind of like applying for a house. If you know, if Brett was here... If, if, if Brett was here right now, dude... <laughs> what would Brett... Yeah, if Brett was Brett's here, he'd fucking, he'd fucking have a fit. You Why? know what he'd say? What would he say? He'd say no fucking memeing, dude. That wasn't a meme? That is not... <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a meme. I don't know, man. I uh, don't really go with Joe's approach. So you don't you don't hit up and say you look cute. No. No. Uh, I mean, have you ever used Tinder? No. No. Fuck, no. dude. I don't know. I don't really have a. I don't really. I don't really know how do you create a bio or anything on there. I do remember I downloaded it because uh, we did all those, the, we did like the Trevor old lady thing and you know all that. So like I, I had Tinder on my phone uh, and I would swipe through but like it would just be a lot of like active sports and stuff in Colorado. And so like that was just, that, I X'd out like so many people because of that. It was like snowboarding and uh, you know the likes, like I just, I, I, I couldn't do any of that. We yeah. went snowboarding that one time, and it just... Yeah, that was great. <laughs> just, Should we talk about that? Before, before we talk about you that, know, you actually, Oh, yeah. You did want to actually... Did you, you want to bring that up? Story. Like, that, the behind the scenes or whatever? Depends yeah, how much we want Okay, to. okay. Yeah, before we talk about that... Okay. Actually, I was going to ask you, uh, with... You had, a, you had a story that you actually, like, shared on, on your stream before in terms of, like, the dangers of, of falling in love. I think that would be a good... Did I? Yeah. I don't it was a girl, that. and she like fell for you, and then she literally fell for you. Literally, she hurt like. Oh, dude, that was like in like. That was, Come like, on, in, that was like in middle you school, dude. Is that like a good story? Tell us. Stories. Middle I'm school. Sure this personal one. It's middle old, school romance. Though. It's so old. Good. I mean, they separated enough that you don't have to worry about that it. That was when I was a bad kid. I was. I was a. I was a bad ignorant. Fucker. You were a bad boy. <laughs> ignorant. And she fucker. wants a good boy, but you're a bad boy. Was this middle school? I was in like a. I was in like a. It was an elective class. Which is like just one of those extracurricular like things that aren't really you know you get like a half credit for. Yeah. And it was a uh, it was sewing. It was a sewing class. <laughs> I don't know why they put what me the in that fuck? shit. Like, cause when we when 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 we would pick our classes, I guess I just got stuck with some of the ones that nobody else did. And there was only like maybe ten kids in the sewing class. And our our goal was to you do like a heavy gym bag by the end of the year. I was moving, so I didn't really give a fuck. 
Uh, but we started sewing, and I guess there was a chick in there that, that took a liking to me. And, uh, you know, as, as to put it nicely, I just didn't take a liking to her. <laughs> <How'd> you, <laughs> to put it nicely. How do you do that? How do you do that? Well, like, every day, like, she'd give me googly eyes and shit like that. And, like, she'd, like, kind of encroach on my space a little bit uh, every day. She'd get closer well, and closer What'd she do? Just stuff. to get closer to you physically? Yeah, she started, like, walking next to me in the hall and stuff like that. And she's like, I don't want any part of that. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, uh, fuck, the one day I left. And uh, I don't know, I guess we got out late and we had to quickly get to our next class. But like I was just moving slow as can be because I just didn't care at the time. And like I think my class was right around the corner anyway. But she was bolting down the hall because she had to get uh, to her next class, I assume. And she was like running with all of her binder and books and all that stuff. And uh, I mean, I guess uh, from my recollection, I just uh, kind of sidestepped a little oh. bit too far in front of her path, and uh, she just she she, launched? she 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 launched she launched, she launched oh, forward straight down on her face, and it was like one of those like you fall and then you slide for a little bit, ah. <laughs> and she ah. laid there face down for a bit, and it was just quiet and it, there wasn't a sound to be heard. You couldn't even like hear a pin drop, and then all of a sudden you hear, and she was oh, crying. Man. And they, they, I just, I Do left. you feel bad? Wow. I left, I left uh, after that because I just didn't want any part of that. And then uh, later that day, I think I was in math class and the principal called me out and took me to his office and was like, did you, did you trip her? Because she's got like bruised ribs and shit oh, like that. Oh my like God. And she's like down her side and stuff. And I was like, no, sir, I did not do that. I did not, I did not try to do that, sir. And I was on borrowed time anyway. Like I was on my way out, and I was on borrowed time. And uh, he was gonna expel me completely that day. Like he was gonna kick me out of the school early before wow. I left. Uh, but I guess he went to all my individual teachers, and my individual teachers, especially my math teacher, like vouched for me and said that I would Dang. never do something like that. And so I guess they chalked it up as an accident. And then uh, I got to stay for the rest of my time. Wow. And uh, she never came close to me ever again. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, man. Damn, dude. You gotta just you gotta, hurt them. You gotta trip up those haters, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, those haters. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think she's at now? I don't know. Maybe she's a successful sewer. Maybe she completed the class. She uh, got that gym bag. I mean, uh -huh. she fell a little too hard for you, man. Yeah. I don't know what Bruised to say. Ribs. I mean, I was a real asshole real at the time. Head over heels. I just really, uh,. I just didn't give a shit. That on my last day, that was a good day, trip down memory lane, right there. I was huh? throwing gum at people's hair in the in the school bus on my way back on the last day of school. Damn, dude, you I were was, a bad kid. You were I a real landed, ruffian. Yeah, it landed in people's hair, and then I just like pieced out, thinking like, dude, they probably had to cut their hair off. Cut that out and stuff. Yeah, I was, Jesus. I just didn't care because I had to like I had to leave. But you know, deep down, it was it, I was resentful. I felt a lot of feelings deep down. I I had to leave forcefully. It wasn't my choice to leave that school. All right. I was in a dark place. What was going on in your home, man? Dude, what if... I was evicted. I had to leave. I had to move to the city and meet this fucktard. Wow. What if What if Shame. you never... If you didn't get evicted, then we wouldn't have met. Yeah, yeah. I know. So I guess in a way, it kind of worked out, right? Yeah. I don't know. Does, and you would be... Out? You'd be... You might be married <laughs> to... You're here in Los Angeles from that butterfly effect, really. Yeah, I know. If I went back and I changed stuff, I wonder what would have changed. Like, you never tripped her. You probably would have ended up marrying yeah, her. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I was saying. You could have. You could have ended up with her if you never tripped her. Yeah, she'd like win addicted, you over. You'd end up like universe. liking her. Holy yeah, yeah, yeah. crap! Yeah, she'd win you over. She'd be like, love your life. My whole life would have changed. Yeah, she, she could I might sell not you have stuff. had my seven point seven million. Yeah, <laughs> where would I be? You tell us, man. Yeah, I couldn't imagine a life where I don't meet Trevor. I don't know where I would have where I would have gone. <laughs> See, I had a lot to play with that though. So you would have had to meet me first. Yeah. But he wouldn't have met you if he didn't like go down that path. Like it's a weird. It's a weird reaction of a reaction of a. Because you wouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> Butterfly effect. Yeah. We Messed wouldn't up. have made. We wouldn't have met. We wouldn't have made those shitty videos. As many stories as get, to, like, always the stories get told about me being an asshole and stuff. But Joe's just as much of a fucking asshole as I am. Like, Joe never not gets fair. perceived as an I get, asshole. I know. Yeah, Joe's I like the nice guy. He gets perceived as such. But well, he's just as bad. Done what if I know? He was with me every step of the way. Some of the shit that we did, he was right next to me. Like he just what? Says, Call what him out. Done? 
What have I done? He fucking he quit his what he quit his first job and he pissed in the freezer on the oh, way yeah, out. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He pissed in the that. freezer. What? what was your first he job? He worked at an old folks home and pissed in the freezer what? on the way out. You pissed in an old people's yeah, freezer? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> what? Yeah, he like he a did. nursing home? Yes. No, no, it no, wasn't it was, that. It, it was, was a retirement. He was home. a caretaker. It's the same for thing. I wasn't people. a caretaker. I was like a buffet server. That's he, worse. He fed old people <laughs> they then trust pissed to give in the you... refrigerator that he served the food out of. That's dude, fucked up, Joe. Dude, That's way worse than I got, what James did. I, I got a lot of bad karma after that, though. Like, I got, I learned my lesson, like, after that. <laughs> he learned his lesson. Damn, we used dude. To, we had we oh, had shit. we had this kid in, in school that like he was the butt of every fucking joke and he I remember he, he don't say any names but he he called up a girl that he liked and he sung Simple and Clean from fucking oh. Kingdom Hearts. He sung that to her over the phone. Wow. And everybody heard about it and it got spread throughout the school and everybody laughed at this fucking kid. You know what we did? We took fucking like flyers of the kid's face and we started hanging them up around town. We took pieces of paper with his fucking picture and we were just, we were taking them everywhere. They were filled in his, in his car and then he fucking takes a pile of them and just toss them out in the middle of the street. Oh wow. yeah, but yeah, I remember that. <laughs> But I was the this driver. I was the he driver. Fit. That's fucked up. He was a driver. I was On the driver. On that same night, we took a traffic cone and we put it in the middle of an that, intersection. That, I like that. We was blocked the, off I like that one. That was good. We blocked off a, an entire lane and made people drive around uh, an entire lane. We actually lane. took the cones from my job. From the old folks home. Yeah, and then we blocked off an entire like a major road. I don't hear a word road. about how much of an asshole I was. Yeah, but that was like <laughs> he was there every step of the way. Do you guys ever think that you're both like? Really bad human being. Yeah, yeah, you both like just were pretty <laughs> shitty. I think I feed off of him. I think I but think Joe, I, I Joe's think so he comes up now, with some dude. of that He's stuff. He's like so nice. I calm down. I calm down a lot. You give him the opportunity. You you were around when he'd do all that fucked up shit at the diners oh, and stuff like that. He fucking he'd leave I, shit like that for for oh, uh, the a stewardess to like come and clean up after. What would you do? He would mix like, make, like ketchup and mustard and all this shit. I'd usually just like put it just dump plate. a bunch we of shit. had the video where you like made that fucking egg concoction. Yeah, that yeah, bar. we had we had a video of that, and I drank it. Was, then I drank it. Yeah, you did. It was awful. It Ew. looked awful. Yeah, it was fucking disgusting. That video like never like I don't even know what happened to it. I I don't know. I think I lost it on my phone after the yeah. like, phone reset. But you could say he learned his lesson. But I believe if given the chance. He will jump at at the opportunity again, and that's just that's just I'm being it's hypothetical. It's escalation, though. I'm it's being escalation with you. You have to get escalated. I feel like yeah, I point. feel like I would have to and get there. I feel there. like you're a good escalator, where you're just like yeah. Yeah, you are a good hype man. Right. Do maybe it. I need Do to maybe I say, need right? to egg him on more than I haven't yeah. in years. Yeah. Maybe I need to push him to that extreme. Do it. That's usually what would happen. I'd never say uh, the one time I saw him get mad, or no. legit mad. I've never seen him get mad except one time. One time. He's, he's gotten mad. He got mad at his house. Oh yeah. When uh, when we we, that like part, we were doing like a parties. land party, and it was, it, we usually do 24, 24 hour land parties, so we're there the whole night. I talked about like staying at his place before. You know, his dad would play Star Wars and stuff like that. Uh, but the the one night. I was just, I don't know what I was doing. I was purposely pissing him off for some reason. I was just Now you're being, being a dick. I was you're being, being a dick. dick. So like he'd bring down snacks flashbacks. for us and stuff. And I started like taking bags of potato chips and I'd throw them at him. Like I'd just like throw, like lob them over to him and shit. And like I hit him in the face with one, a bag of potato chips. He got so mad. He fucking, he picked them up and just fucking like whipped them across the fucking, like across the I was floor. trying to like throw them at you, but obviously my aim's not good. So it just like. <laughs> It slammed. It, I think it slammed into the wall and yeah. it just like exploded. It exploded, and then my comment after that was like, "Well, you're gonna have to clean that up." <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I was pretty mad. I, I remember that. Was that was the only time. I remember that. But I actually remember getting like he was so mad that he actually threw something full force at me. That was that was, was the it only gamer time. rage, dude, or what? I think I can't even remember why I got so He's mad. He's probably fed like, up with like he got like six, seven guys in the fucking basement you got to clean up after him all the time and we're just yeah. there making a mess I think causing that, a ruckus yeah and he's the caretaker i think no you know why wasn't that the night that we all went down to like the i have a river in my backyard and we were like we were oh like, yeah you would get triggered because we throw stuff in your river yeah well no it wasn't even that it was because everyone was like yelling and then the neighbors came out and they were like they knew obviously like it was me and like friends so like i i knew i was gonna get shit 
Maybe like the I next know. day. I didn't know that if that was the case. Yeah. I'm sorry. You you don't remember that? The neighbor came out and she was like, please. she was like, be quiet. I remember for some reason when we got out of school, we took boxes of paper yeah. from the school. Yeah, like we, we just, specifically and we, went and we to teachers and we were like, can WB we have all your Mason extra paper? And they just gave it to us. I don't even know, remember. It was like, it was like tests and stuff, like old paper, just like a stack of old, like oh, printer okay. paper. We were gonna burn them. And we, yeah, we were gonna like do a bonfire and we ended up just throwing them in your in your in your yeah. river. Like we we kind of littered why? a lot. I don't know why we. Yeah, did it was that. pretty bad. We just threw them in there. We probably killed a bunch of fish with that. Yeah, I don't know why we did that. <laughs> I don't know why fucked we up. did that. And you you were a real ruffian as a kid. Yeah, I mean, looking back, that was a lot of yeah. We did a lot of shit. I don't know why we did half the stuff that we did. The yeah, worst thing I did bad. as a kid was I threw a two by four through a church window, on accident. I didn't vandalize. I was on accident. Oh, accident. I was just say I was with my friends in the parking lot of the church at night, and because we were just a place, we were just walking around, and there was a two by four on the <laughs> ground. I just I was just spinning in a circle with it, and then I just let go, and I didn't see where it went. I just heard a big smash. And Did you ran. run? Yeah, we just oh, ran. Shit. <laughs> Holy crap! But I saw it, I let go when it was facing the church, so I'm positive it was a window of the church. Damn. But we just booked it. That was the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> you didn't try to do it though. No, no. Yeah, I think I was I was well, I guess I was like 13, and, and my. Uh, dad's friend had stored his like older cars down near my dad's like wood shop and I thought they were like junk cars for some reason and so like one day I, I had like a I, I took a rock and just smashed out all the windows <laughs> the fuck god I, I damn know, it was just like dude like I, I, <laughs> I first of all I saw a snake like fucking like a garner snake just go in and like I was with my cousin and I was like oh dude there's a fucking snake in that car so I just started smashing out all the windows and <laughs> I, really? I blamed it on a neighbor, but then later I was caught red-handed. <laughs> really? I to, yeah, I had to apologize and everything. That was like a stupid mistake, but I was yeah. like... Yeah. Everybody's got wow. a dark history. I mean, it's just... We were all dumb so, kids. Right? I mean, you know? I just, I just wanted to be known that if he gets pushed, he'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> he willingly took his cock out and pissed in that fridge. I did. You did that. Yeah, yeah I was like. But did James encourage you, or was that, was that your no, idea? No, I, was, I wasn't there. No, you weren't there. there. No, I was just on, your own. on his own. I was a bad what kid. What encouraged you to do it? Own. Was it just like I fucking hate this place and these people? I, I, when I was a kid, I was bad. You like, were I was you, a this bad. This was a job, kid. though. How old were you? That this, you I, was a job. Like, I was like. I was like sixteen. Seventeen. I was bad. Sixteen. Sixteen. That's old enough to know not to piss in a fridge. Dude, that was a long time ago. He was tired of cleaning up. That was like a decade ago. That was a decade ago. That was Man. a decade ago. Did an old person set you off that day, or was it just the fact that you were leaving the job? So no. It was like, Who cares? You know what I would do though? Like I we I like uh, would bust a table sometimes, and then we had like a big cart that you'd push. Like you put all the wait, plates. bust or bust? Bust. Like break it or like take the dishes off it. You ever heard like bust busting a table? Bussing. Yeah. Not busting. Bussing. Busting. Okay. Yeah. I pictured you like smashing tables. No, no, so, no, no. You bust some tables. No, but anyways, I pushed. Like, it, 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 it was a cart. I thought he was gonna say like he like bust fucking boy. Jerry rigged like the leg to come out or something. Yeah, like, something when like he that. was going up. No, no, I would, I would, uh, I would like push the the cart with all the old plates and shit like into the bat the kitchen, and I'd push it and I'd slam it into the door. And I remember doing that and I like yelled really loud. And these like all, all these old people ran into the kitchen. And they like thought like someone like got hurt, but it was like I thought it was hilarious that they like everyone was like freaking out. <laughs> that like, oh, they my. cared about your well-being. That well, could they be didn't... like the final panic of this old guy who's just like on the edge, yeah. and he fucking hears this. It's like, Ugh! yeah, was... just a joke, man. Tim. You're like a real thing didn't happen. Like you cried wolf one too many times, they just yeah. didn't come. That was Something a bad, bad did kid. happen. Yeah, damn dude, you were a bad kid. Yeah, you were, you were kind of like I flipped the car. You were just like the he flipped his own car in his own neighborhood and convenience to like everyone. And you flipped your own car. Mhm. Mm Why? Well, I literally flipped it. You just going too fast. I was just driving too quick and I like oh, I, you, I lost like control. You, oh, I was picturing you like outside the car like with friends and you lift it up. <laughs> no, no. I literally flipped it. Oh. That's okay Jesus. though because that that kind of toned down your driving a bit after that. Probably before yeah. that you were pretty reckless behind the wheel and then but like, after that you yeah. were like, "All right, I think I'm good." Wasn't it like your dad's car or something? No, it was, it was my car. car. It was my you car. You had to use your dad's car after that, didn't you? Did you have no, to use your I dad's got, car for a little bit? No, I luckily I, I got it like I don't know how, but like the insurance covered it. I don't know I don't know how it worked cuz it was a mistake. Yeah, I, I don't remember, but I got another car after that. Damn, dude. That was a bad kid. I, I was definitely bad. Do you ever see something as a kid that just kind of fucks you up for a long time? Like a movie or something? Not really. Just like sticks with you in your mind? I saw people uh, fucking in a cemetery before. That kind of fucked me up. 
You saw it as a kid? Yeah, when I was a kid. You were walking past it. We used to always go. Uh, we used to always go to our friend's house to play Super Smash, and uh, on the way over to his house, you have to go through a graveyard. Mm -hmm. And like in my mind, I feel like it didn't happen, but it was. It totally did. It was like one of those things where it's like, did that really happen? Because they were like behind a big headstone. And like, I just, I was like looking for a bit and they just kept going and uh, I, I kept walking. I wasn't going to stop, but like, you know, when I came back, they weren't there. But I was like, one of those, like, did that really happen? Yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> that fucked you up? Yeah, that fucked you up in it the was, head? It was weird to see that just in the broad daylight in the, like, <laughs> kind of like around the corner from a school. <laughs> like, I don't know. That is weird. That's a weird place to... In the cemetery? Yeah. I walked that cemetery, I don't know how many times, like, and there was never anything out of the ordinary. But as a kid, like, it was always, I'd come back at night and stuff, so that was always creepy going through the, the graveyard and stuff. And somebody else would be, it was like a really long single stretch. Somebody else would be walking on the other side, so you'd have, like, a lot of time to think about, like... They could kill that you. That person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of things that go through your head when you're going through that cemetery, so... Seeing that uh, was kind of, that was out there. I don't a little know. traumatic? Yeah, for a bit. Well, uh, earlier, we kind of mentioned the, you, you want to talk about the snowboard. Oh, yeah. Story, right? the, the skiing yeah. trip, yeah. Because that was one of the videos that you had to edit. It's called yeah. the, the snow, was it? The, the snow skiing disaster? disaster. Skiing disaster. Yeah, that's and my that least favorite like, video I've ever edited. And that was like the last, one of the last videos we shot while we were in Colorado. Yeah. And you had a big part in that. Yeah. Did you want to sort of... Explain your yeah, explain like the backstory that? to that. Yeah. Yeah. So our first mistake making that video was we went skiing. Wasn't we, it originally supposed to be a steep thing, right? Yeah, it was supposed there to be. There was no steep gameplay. To, to no, 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 you never. No, recorded it was that. supposed to be a steep thing. Yeah, it was supposed to be like, like a live a one -off. action. Yeah. Or a takeover day. Yeah, we decided to film live action first, and our first mistake was leaving the house to go there at noon. I learned later that if you're gonna go on a skiing trip, you gotta leave the house at like sunrise. Um, so we got there at like three in the afternoon and then we went to lunch. So it was even later uh, And so by that time the Sun was setting and we were like we need to like we need to get on the mountain We need to film something at least so we had to go to the uh, Rental place because we didn't have any we never went there before we yeah, didn't know we where never, we were none going. of us ever snowboarded or skied So none of us had any equipment. Yeah, or any snowboards or anything We didn't bring anything and we went into the rental place and I remember the guy there uh Really, he was really confused at the fact that we didn't have any any gear. Yeah, he was like, "So all of you are renting now?" And we're like, "Yeah, we don't have anything. Like, you need uh, everything." Like, yeah, we don't have pants, boots, jacket, nothing. He's like, "Uh, okay." Well, we talked about like getting gear beforehand, right? Because like that would make sense. Yeah. But I think we also checked beforehand heading over to the rental, but like it was so outrageously priced, it was like really really pricey to buy some of that shit there like, yeah it was really expensive and well, the, well you wanted you're like you said we shouldn't get the stuff because we it were wouldn't fit in well it we wouldn't would have, fit in the we car we would have all been wearing winter gear in an van and yeah. we would have just been like fucked right? and then there'd be like how many people eight eight people like eight with like one, yeah. all gear in the car they, they, there was no way it would have fit right there's no way yeah so we uh our next our next mistake uh was a couple of us thought it'd be really fun if we uh, took some edibles before we filmed, me included. So I, I took some and uh, yep. uh, <laughs> that turned out to not be a super great idea because it started kicking in when we were at the rental place. And so all of us were just like, or at least th those of us that actually took the edible, Joe that didn't. Was, I w yeah, I, it I had just to got drive. real bad and we just all started zoning out <laughs> and like not responding to anything no, they were I, saying. I, I took it. I think that was like the, one of the most horroring experiences I think I've had <laughs> in a very long time. Yeah. Partially because of the altitude too, right? Yeah, that definitely whole, fucked us like, up amplify too. Amplify the experience a bit. Yeah. But more importantly, it's just the fact that we were so unprepared for disaster. <laughs> yeah. It probably didn't help that the imminent. people, everyone was being very jokey. Yeah. We kept Everyone's had like a really like, for some reason, just a jokey mentality. Yeah, like at the checkout lane, I remember the dude kept, when you were there, he kept going, oh, you're Joe, Joe DiMaggio. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, he, he yeah. He yeah. Joe, oh, like Italian that, names. Yeah. And he just kept going. Oh, yeah, because I, yeah, I, he was like, he's like, what do you guys do? Are you filming? I was like, yeah, we're a YouTube channel. Oh, no, no, no. I, I said, I think I just said, like, we're filming. And he's like, oh, what do you guys film? And I was like, we film porn. And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. 
And then like every you guys were like losing it like because at that you point. kept going with it. So just be yeah. like, nah, dude, we're just doing YouTube shit. You're like, yeah, yeah, porn. And then his friend came over and was like, oh shit, really? You guys do yeah, porn? Yeah, I was like, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. Pornhub and shit. And you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. We know people from. Yeah, because I had the porn. I had the I had the U porn shirt on. Yeah, the U porn. And shirt I lifted it up. On. I was like, yeah, look. And then, like <laughs> from there, it just kept going. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, that was that that was that fucked everyone up, man. Yeah. And then after the rental place, we all had our snow boots on, yeah. which are really hard to walk in. And we had to walk all the way back to the van to get our stuff. Like yeah, the yeah, equipment. we didn't, yeah. And then we go to walk, the ski lift. And uh, we'd walk like a mile. Yeah, we walked like well, a we, whole mile and uh, we had to go back to get our normal shoes. And they were really confused about that. They knew that we had never even Someone like, seen like, snow before. I can't remember who it was. Someone lost like a boot. Yeah, on Trevor the way. lost his boot, so Trevor. he couldn't go. And well, then. Because no, I, I had his boot on my snowboard, but it oh, wasn't yeah. buckled tight. Because I was carrying like Aaron's shit at some point too. Yeah, that and, happened. We and got Trevor's on the and my own. Yeah, we got on the bus. <laughs> yeah, we all we got on the bus to go to the ski lift, and uh, <laughs> for some reason when we stopped, it was not our stop. But Alex decided to do. He just hopped off. That was I, probably the most off. deranged thing I've ever no, seen. And then when no, he got I was off, done. Yeah, like, he was I, just I, done. I hit game over, dude. Like, we were all he confused. Got off, he got off the bus and was like on his phone, like outside, like just standing yeah, there. Yeah, just messing with stuff. And we were all the, inside. The, they, the guy, the bus driver was about to go. And of all people, Anna, 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 Anna was the one to speak she, up. And she's told like, her, no, and told the guy like, no, 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 we have our friend out there. Yeah, we're all like, Alex, what are you doing? And the driver started like yelling at us. The bus driver was so pissed, though. Like, he was just like. He was mad. He was not having it. He was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I gotta go. Like, partially, partially, we were fucked up. Which yeah. is part of it, but it was because I was sitting next to so many people, and they were starting to look at me because I had skis, like the sticks. I had two pairs of boots. Like you had four like a boots. bunch. You got paranoid and just got off. <laughs> yeah. And I was I holding them all like this, me. just sitting there by myself, because you guys had your own section and there yeah. wasn't enough space. Because the way I got on the bus was like I had to get on like this and just sit down, and I couldn't move. Yeah. And it was awful. So when we stopped, I just wanted to leave. I want to go. Scary, home. dude. What if you would have left? Like, what if I would have left? Well, you I don't there? know, dude. I, I didn't care. Like, I was, who I, were you I, even on I the phone with when the, you got off? That was a bit. I was just making it up, like, <laughs> yeah. as, as if yeah. I stepped out to take a phone call. Like that. Yeah, that was just, to me, that was more like, I have to make have a reason. So it's like, oh, yeah, hello. I have a yeah, I like phone happened. call I have to yeah, make so right now. Finally, you came back on the buzz. We made it back to the car. And then James decided he's not going to go up the mountain. Fuck no. Aaron decided he's too weak to go up the mountain. Trevor lost a boot, so he couldn't go. So it ended up just being me, Alex, Joe, and Anna, right? It was already yeah. dark, too. Yeah, and it was already nighttime. By the we time like, it was like nighttime, we're like, we all right. Get our, we, our, need a, we need to get our GoPros on and did all that. And we went up to we, the mountain. We had the matching, like, red suits. Yeah, because it was too. the only thing they had at the rental place. So like, and we people were, on the were team. like, that was sketchy. People, because people <laughs> were commenting on it. It makes you feel really shitty when people are like, you know, oh, you guys must be a team or something like that. Like, yeah, we're they said all it really wearing like... the same outfit, but we're not a team. We're just, like, not. We're, rent- we're not rich enough to buy our own shit. Yeah. So like we had to rent it, and we, we looked like good, dude. And we were fucking high, so it just yeah, it was not. Yeah. So when we got to the top of the mountain, I remember Joe's ski kept breaking. Like uh, we were about to start filming. We like, had, okay, finally we can film we it. Had, and then we had to spend had, 45 minutes. Yeah. You actually have footage like, of that, like the GoPros are just like pointing yeah, down. Yeah. And that's like, what happened is the GoPros were recording. We started recording on the ground. The, the people and then, didn't uh, fit it right. They didn't fit the the. Yeah. Or, so it didn't fit your they boot didn't right. They didn't fit it. So like. So we kept trying to go down the mountain, but like it just didn't. I kept like kept bailing down the mountain because it kept like ripping off the the boot or whatever. Yeah. So I remember you and Alex. We had to get the. Yeah. I got like a snow patrol guy to ride to the top of the mountain, and Anna and I were like, okay. We'll just go down the mountain. Like, we don't have cameras. Yeah. Can't make the video. We'll just go because we're here and may as well ski. <laughs> so For we, the experience. Yeah, we're like, we're the only two left. It narrowed it down to me and Anna. So we, uh, we started going down, and I quickly realized that uh, I can't ski. And when you fall on snow like that, like, that snow was really, like, packed <laughs> down. Yeah. Yeah. So every time I fell, it was, like, the worst pain ever. Like, it hurt really bad. <laughs> And so at one point, Anna, like, she kept going, like, ahead of me because she was way better. And I like, kept waiting for me to, like, recover and kept, keep going. Yeah. And eventually, we had to just stop. And I had to be like, we have to go to, like, one of these payphones and just have one of these, like, snow patrol guys come take yeah. us to the top of the mountain. So we called them. Like, we need to go back up. They were like, is someone injured? Like, no, we're just Oh, did you not lazy. make it down? No, we did because they were like, well, we can't do that unless someone's injured. And we're like, well, we have fucking 30 minutes to get to the bottom of the mountain before the rental place closes. Yeah. So we just rushed down. I got super hurt. Jesus. At the very bottom of the hill, we just went off the, the yeah. track to go into like the bus stop, and I was trying desperately to call you guys to like get in touch with you. Yeah. And my loose-fitting pants, because they only had extra larges, because it was the end of the day, they started falling. So I had all my ski shit, and I was on my phone, and I was waddling, and then I didn't realize I was walking right toward a low-hanging chain, 
and I just tripped over it and Damn. fell flat on my face right in front of everyone on the bus. Fuck. And I had to just run onto the bus covered in snow. I was like, I want to go home. Yeah, I felt bad because like... It, it just all just doing... went downhill more and more until I just was like, I'm not, I don't even want to talk that was, to anyone. That was a defeating yeah. experience for, I think, It everybody. was really bad. Like, that would have been worst. the day we lost half of our crew. <laughs> and then the GoPro stopped recording right when we started skiing because of, we had to spend so much time fixing yeah, Joe's so, thing. Like, I, I guess if you ever... If then you I had ever, to edit it and relive it all. If you ever watch, if you ever go back and watch the ski disaster and you're like, well, what the fuck is this video? Maybe you'll see the story behind. Yeah, it was, uh, we, hopefully we learned a lesson from it. What have you learned since you started working with us? Cause tell us a little bit about, uh, well, with us, right? Not for us, because important context, yeah, I, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. I, don't mean, yeah I, get, I get it. I, I work we, for you. We get high together. We die in mountains together. You know how it is. Yeah, <laughs> for life, homie. Yeah. So what, what, have, what have I learned? <laughs> yeah, like I mean, you you were in film school before you started. Well, I wasn't in film school, but I like took like college courses for it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've learned I've learned a shitload more about editing mostly from like you know Trevor and stuff just him teaching me but mostly I learned how to uh, communicate with you two that's something I struggled with at first because you guys uh I couldn't tell when you were being Mimi or when you were being serious about a lot of stuff Ooh. okay uh <laughs> so there'd be times where you'd say something and I was like is that a joke it sounds like it'd be a joke but like no one else was laughing <laughs> That's kind of how my jokes are. At this yeah, that's point. that's like, kind of what I learned. Trevor's the only one that gives me like a <laughs> every once in a while. Yeah, so if I knew if he Can was laughing laugh? that it was yeah. that it was a joke. Yeah, that's the only time I was like I'll, I'll keep my I, jokes going. Sometimes I think everything's a joke. Jacob's a good addition too because he does the <laughs> yeah the <laughs> yeah. That's when you know like a joke's kind and of. And it hurts right. me to even do that. I don't know how he does it so loud. I was that's told it. that that was gonna stop. <laughs> I was told that that was gonna stop. He still does it. Dude, he told me he'd stop. I didn't realize like he, he was like it's because my parents are sleeping, but now it's like. He but it's so much doesn't. louder when you laugh. When you laugh no, like that. Just Shit wasn't like fucking big. That wasn't. So what about what about James then? What do you mean? You're like I, I couldn't tell if I'm making a joke or not. But I mean, yeah, he was me kind of the same time. way. It was mostly you. I mean, James. Okay, you're just putting me on the spot. I'm saying, can you put him on the spot for just a minute? Like, <laughs> just Jesus Christ, dude. Throw some on him. I was yeah. already on the spot earlier, like with the fucking you know bad bad kid shit. I'm gonna get shit on because yeah, of that. Yeah, but now you have the same excuse where it's like that was a decade ago, man. I was a different <laughs> kid back then. I'm not bad now. I don't put shit in people's drinks now. I don't do fucked up I don't, shit now. I don't pee in the freezer. Man. I don't know what you do. Thankfully, yeah. I don't know, if you guys I don't know came if... down, like, <laughs> you see, like, <laughs> all right. me peeing. All right. All right. All right. All right. Gross. No, no one wants to think about that right now, man. Okay. <laughs> I can't so I wasn't as Mimi as you, but yeah, I was no, still Mimi. Yeah, James was easier to decipher, easier to talk to. It was just you, though, mostly. You talked to James a lot? I mean, sometimes. Good. When he was, like, on the couch, like, playing a game like you were about to record, just making sure it works, I'd, like, ask him about it, and he'd talk to me about it. I talk about his life problems at the time. You just talked what? about you just talked about the fucking recording work. I helped him through a death in the family. What? See, this is what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, forgot. Rule See, number one. Sorry. I don't. I don't do that. I'm much better than that. Are you? You're doing it right now. How? <laughs> he fucking broke out that. a fidget spinner on this podcast. God See, damn like, yeah, whatever, dude. God damn it. Okay, so what? What made you want to fucking uh, do this this whole thing instead of actually pursuing a legitimate career? <laughs> yeah. What? You mean editing videos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was editing videos when I was like 10 years old. That was just, YouTube was just the coolest thing to me. It was so cool that you could just upload a thing and everyone can go and watch it there. It was oh, like yeah, really you had sweet. a channel, right? Well, I've had many channels, yeah. I made the worst shit. My friends and I used to try and do prank videos when we were like really? 13. You can imagine how that was. But we should out that we only really we only really brought you on for your voice at the time. That was really yeah. what, that was really what spoke to us because we watched your Warcraft videos. And we yeah, like, I remember that. We were like, damn, what a VO this guy's got, and we were like, we gotta get this guy on board real quick. You always yeah, need a, you you have to have a deep voice guy in a group setting. You know, yeah. Yeah, one that's that you don't one. initially kick out right away, especially. Yeah. But yeah, having that yeah. for like voiceovers damn. and stuff really helps out. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I filled that role. Yeah. That's what you're here for. We've, now, we've used it a couple times. Yeah. We just use it for like Trevor's, well, you guys yeah, use it yeah, for Trevor's yeah. uh, show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever someone needs a narration, they come to me, which, hey, I'll take it. Gotta exploit that. Yeah. As much as possible. Yeah. I remember that was one of the first things you told me when I was at that, the first job interview where I met you at yep. the Creatures office. You were like, uh, yeah, so if, if we don't hire you as an editor, we'll probably just bring you on for like VO stuff. And I was like, <laughs> I was like sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what happened there that we we didn't bring you on right away. 
It yeah, was a we, transition. We, a, we were yeah. like, oh, we'll wait till we get to yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah. I remember we I was... Because anyway. we were doing, like, we were doing... We weren't doing We had such a minimalistic yet. setup, I think, at the time. So it was just kind of it, like, it wasn't for Cow Chop when we first brought him over. It was. No, we it was were, for we the creatures. Oh, no, it was, it was for individual. It was for individual. That was right. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. oh. we, were, we were trying to cover our, our own base. Oh, yeah, you were going to... You were, no, you were going to be an editor for Cow Chop, I think, right? No, no. We, we just said that. We just talked about No, but I was going to be the editor for you. And you were for a while at the yeah. time. Yeah, he took yeah. over a little bit. It was just like a... Yeah. Like he was going to be full-time Cow Chop. I was going to be, like, part-time. I don't know what the fuck we were doing. That didn't happen. No. No. It didn't. No. no. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> how do you like it now so far? Like, it's great. Honest, like, you don't have to say it just because we're next to you. We're not going to be like, oh... You, because now if we fire you, it'll be obvious if we talk shit about <laughs> because, us. Yeah, know? fucking can't stand it. No, I, I love this job. <laughs> it's like literally been a passion of mine for as long as I've been on, since I like, discovered the internet, pretty much just making videos. And it's always been like my dream to be able to edit videos, especially like in this kind of setting where it's not strict. It's very like, just throw any funny edits in that you want. Like that literally a dream job. I remember when I got the interview, the first interview at the Creatures office, I was like, super excited and I was like stressing out the whole previous day like I gotta not fuck up my words and I remember overthinking it and in the interview I, I like messed myself up like I would overthink things and I'd forget what I was talking about and I'd just like stop talking. I don't even remember that. Thankfully. <laughs> I don't remember I remember that. thinking in the, in the interview I was like oh that they're not, they don't like me now. I do I just remember did though thing. that you were you were like a fan or at least you watched like like Funhouse and Rooster Teeth by extension. Yeah. And we weren't a part of like the Let's Play family yet at the time but it was like something on the horizon or whatever. But like, yeah. what did you think when we told you that? I remember you, I actually remember you telling me exactly that because the first thought that I had was- Possibility kind of thing. Yeah, I was like, if I do get this job, I might be able to meet Funhouse. Eh. That'd be wicked. And I did get to meet Funhouse. And that's probably my favorite thing I've done in LA so far. Is meet Funhouse? Yeah, that was like, that was a trip, dude. I've been watching Funhouse since- When did you meet them? When we went to film James's birthday thing. Oh yeah, yeah, Minecraft yeah, yeah, bus. yeah. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. And like James Willems, he came up and like gave me a hug when we got into the uh, office. Life made. For real. It was like, I felt like a fangirl. I was like, I can never wash this shirt again. I was just, I was so, I was so like, oh my God, I'm touching James Willems. And I then like fucking, he got I in. I fucking hate James Willems, dude. <laughs> he got in my car. I remember he got in my driver's seat for, uh, it, was, it was like a bit in the BTS. Uh, and Did you like, freak out? Honking my horn. So I like, put on oh, yeah, I never wash yeah. my. Yeah, I, I was never like, wash my oh car my God, again. James is in my car. He's yeah, in my car. He's real, in my I was car. like, the He's only that car. means the only three people that have ever been in the driver's seat of my car are me, my dad, and James Willems. My God. Damn. Oh, yeah. I fucking. I'm excited. Like, that's excited great. For you. Like, I hate all the funhouse people, but I'm actually really excited for you. Yeah. Like, thank yeah. you. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was. It was definitely yeah, you pretty did, cool. You did. Because like we used to get like the achievement hunter stuff, and we'd be like, yeah, you want this like funhouse and achievement hunter gear, and like you'd be like yeah. rocking it and whatnot. Yeah. Hell yeah. I used to watch them all the time. They used to be like. Oh, okay. Fuck you. But yeah, thanks for hiring me on and making my dreams come true. Yeah, we're gonna cut. I mean, this was a cool moment, but we're gonna start cutting it now. No, yeah, that's, dude, that's don't fine. cut it yet, because he's just talking about how like we made his dreams come true. It's this not, is a good karma. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to cut it right now. Yeah, well, we made good dreams. Just I'd like love sit this hear, in a little bit. I'd love to hear about how awesome your life is now because of Cow Chop, but <laughs> yeah. like our batteries running out. And yeah, we yeah. Can't afford yeah, I get bigger batteries. We apparently. can only leave in the We bad? just can't no, afford bigger batteries for some reason in our cameras. We're good people. We're good people. Yeah. So tell them. We're good people. There you have it. Yeah, we're good people. Thanks for watching the It's It's Good People podcast here live on the Rooster Teeth website. And if you're not watching it on the Rooster Teeth website and on YouTube, you can sign up for a first subscription and watch it live when this show airs. Hashtag CCTV. It's all rebroadcast anyway, but nobody actually knows that. Yeah, they don't know. They can't tell. But thanks, thanks for thanks Yeah, for, of course, dude. Thanks for having me on, man. It's taking time out of your day to come up here. Oh yeah, of course, and, dude. And thank you to the fan that let us on their roof. Uh, we appreciate that very much. Yeah. Great view of the, the Hollywood, Hollywood sign. sign. Yeah, beautiful. Oh look, there's a balloon. Aww. Oh, that's actually illegal. <laughs>